Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Get some. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. What's up? Hey guys, thanks for joining. Hello. Just trying to, let's see if I can. Hi guys, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining guys. Let's see, I'm trying to get this to pin here. How are you? Hi, we're gonna talk to Melanie C, of course, of the Spice Girls. Hi from Liverpool, oh my goodness, hi. Hello, I keep trying to pin this comment here. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, it looks like she's here. Let's see. Melanie, let's see. Hi! Melanie! <laughs> Greetings from London. Are you in London right now? That's what I was wondering. Hi. Yeah, hello. Lovely to speak to you. Lovely to speak to you. I have to say, by the way, we are live with you. Thanks to Jack Daniels. I have my little setup here behind me. So how are you? All good. You know, not going to lie. It's challenging times. There's been highs and lows, but today's a good day. I released my new song today, so I'm very excited. Tell me. That was the first thing I wanted to ask you about. Tell me about your new song. So this is the second release from a new album that's coming later in the year. And it's dancey. It's got attitude. I it's heard about, it. It's so good. Yeah, uh -huh. Good. Yeah, it was kind of inspired by a little bit of a toxic relationship. That kind of someone you think they're one thing and then like your world's just like shattered when you realize it was all built on lies. And I think lots of us, unfortunately, can, you know, yeah, we've been through that. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit, it's not a revenge track, but it's quite nice to get that kind of, you know, that anger out there. Totally. And so on a day like today, when you wake up, is it, what are the feelings when you drop a song? Is it like nervous? Is it excitement? What are the feelings on a day like yeah, today? Totally. Um, always a bit nervous, obviously, because you want everyone to love it as much as you do, but mostly excitement because I've been working on this record now. I mean, it's pretty fresh. I started it last year just before the Spice Tour. And then, you know, the last few months have been lots of writing sessions and recording and getting everything sounding just how I want it. Shooting videos, luckily before lockdown, we got this one in the bag. Okay. Um, so yeah, so to unleash it on the world is like, is really, really fun. Cause you get to a point and you're like, I want everyone to hear it now, you know? Of course, of course. So yeah, how has quarantine been for you? I know, like you said, probably good days and bad days, right? Yeah, but you know, it's been really busy. Um, I was over, I was in LA and I was promoting the first single, Who I Am. And yeah, we had all these like really fun promo set up. I had some writing sessions over there too. Then we were on our way to New York after that and lockdown happened and we just had to get home. So um, I got home and just thought, what am I gonna do? You know, I've got this new record coming out. I want everyone to hear it, but there are much bigger things going on in the world, you know? So we decided to continue with our plan and we just got, tried to get creative on social media. We've been doing live Q and A's, yes. we've been streaming, doing DJ sets, some performances. And just what I found really interesting about this time, because globally we're experiencing the same thing, even though we're isolated from each other, I still feel connected and, and supported, you know, and reaching out to my fans has really helped me in this difficult time. It is, right? Because, I mean, how often does that happen where literally everybody in the world is going through the Never. same thing? Yeah. Never. Never. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So, I think even though, you know, obviously what's happening is horrible and, and scary and there's so much uncertainty, I think, you know, that we have to draw positives from this. And, and you know, I've seen the time, although I get frustrated and I want to I see my parents, you know, I want to mm -hmm. see my relatives and my friends and I want to travel, I want to see the fans and perform. But I think it's valuable, Tran, because we never allow ourselves to stop. You know, we're always so busy on this treadmill of life. So yep. we've all had to just like slow down a little. So 
Yeah. yeah. And so, okay, a few things. So, yes, I saw that you were doing the Q&As. That's got to be so cool. Um, is there a question you've gotten that's just been, like, really wild and unexpected during this time? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, the great thing about, you know, I have so, in, you know, the, the fans are incredible. They followed me from way back in the 90s with the Spice Girls. And yeah. There's this amazing, like, international fan base out there. And they come up with, like, the most interesting questions and um you know because I've been interviewed so many times and then sometimes I'm like that's a really good question and <laughs> lots of people have been asking about you know how things have changed you know whether it's the recording processes or even you know now it's streaming it used to be CDs I mean mm -hmm. back in my day sets but um <laughs> you know, I know <laughs> yeah it's kind of interesting to think about that and to think about how my experiences like making music has changed so much through the years it is it's kind of weird right because like you said I mean I would listen to you guys to the Spice Girls on cassettes and I would like tape it and then yeah then I have the CDs and like now it's like totally different yeah. totally changed yeah, yeah. It's amazing I think it's you know it's exciting because it's taken a long time for like the industry to kind of get their head around the whole thing but I think as a consumer we just have access to so much music and it's like instantly. And mm -hmm. I think that's really exciting. And uh, also your DJ sets are amazing. Like, have you always DJed? <laughs> you know, I've always- I had no idea. Yeah, I wanted to DJ for years, but I never had the confidence to do it. Uh -huh. And then and then my boyfriend said to me, just give it a go. And I was like, okay. So like I booked this lesson and I just fell in love instantly. And yeah, I was I want to do another, I want to do another one. And it's just grown from there. And, you know, I love music. I, I don't get to go out and party like I used to now. I'm a mum and stuff. So <laughs> it gives me the opportunity to play all my favorite music and have a great dance. And it's also enabled me to, to view music in a different way. You know, as a DJ, you're influencing an, an audience, a dance floor in a different way than you are as a vocalist, you know? So I think it's really influenced this album. It's made it a lot more dancey. So this is kind of like a relatively recent thing, the DJing and getting to yeah, do that. Yeah, I think it's been two years. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah. yeah it was so see. scary when I first went out there because it's like, you know, being a Spice Girl, you can't just like go and do some quiet little show. It's like <laughs> anything you do, everyone's like going, oh my gosh, she's DJing. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to mess up. I know. <laughs> um, but, but it's kind of like, it's like the pressure is interesting because it makes you be like on your A game, no matter what, you know, because you know everyone's watching. Um, so it's, it's been, yeah, I, I had to jump in at the deep end, but I've loved it. And I think, you know, like everything in life, when you make mistakes, but you kind of, you know, you get yourself out of it. That's what makes you good at what you do, right? That's the experience. So, uh, yeah, so it's been a fun little journey. And kind of how you handle it, sure. And yeah. uh, so you're then quarantining with the family, Yes. Yeah, I have, and that's been okay. I have an interesting household. So I have, I'm here with my boyfriend and my daughter, and I have two stepchildren. So we, we kind of, we have half of the week with those guys as well. So we've kind of got two households kind of quarantining, you know, uh -huh. simultaneously. And um, yeah, which is good in a way because we have like this dynamic shift halfway through the week, which is, you know, refreshes us all. But then sometimes we're just like, like driving each other nuts. Like so many families out there I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. And also, so for me, because I'm just sort of like hanging out by myself here. And so then that's like a different thing where it's like, anybody, can, just anybody, I want to see anybody. So I'm happy to see you today. <laughs> so I know. Well, like, yeah. sometimes I feel like I felt um, a bit jealous of people on their own. Thinking yeah, good. right. Heal for some space right now. And then other times I thought, yeah, oh, yeah it must get lonely too. It really did. Lovely. Like, there, I, I've gone in waves. Like, I've had waves where it's like, oh my God, this is so great. Thank goodness. And then I would say, like, week four, I was like, this is not like, what is going on? Like, it was a lot. And then since then, it's kind of been like up and down, but yeah. it's been good. You know, I feel like that's kind of everybody. Like, you sort of go through all kinds of emotions. It's a weird it's, time. It's weird. You know, I, yeah. I think, yeah, I've been kind of observing myself and my mood and, you know, in the way I've been dealing with things. And, and yeah, sometimes it's, it's hard. And sometimes even a day, just, just a single day can have this, this roller coaster of events. Yeah. So interesting, isn't it? All in the same day. I know. Um, so do you mind, can we chat about Spice Girls for a second? Because I love yeah. them so much. Like I grew up in my, like, I don't know, 13, 14 year old self knew one day I'd be talking to you, I'd flip out. So this is so exciting. <laughs> so um, 
So first, I mean, when you think back on that time, back to the Spice, I mean, you were so massive. You were like one of the biggest groups in the world. What do you primarily think of? Like, do you just think of like how fun it was? Was it just chaos? Like what sort of comes to mind first? You know, it is, it's all those things, how chaotic it was, how exciting it was, all of the, the places we went to, you know, as, as five young girls from the UK, um, you know, we, we all come from pretty humble backgrounds, really, you know, mm -hmm. and we were, we were flying on like private jets and we were staying in five star hotels, you know, but like we were in Beverly Hills staying at the Four Seasons and, and it was just like, what is going on? But I think the, the memories that I, you know, I cherish all of my time with the girls, but I think being on stage and just that, you know, the memory of looking out. And we always had so many fans dressing like us. Yeah. You know, you the babies and the poshies and the sporties. And it was, it was just always so fun to look out and see everybody singing along every word. Is there a story you can think of where just things like you had a moment where you're like, oh my God, this is wild. Like just, it, was there like a fan that did something or was there a moment that it's like, wow, this is just, we are so big and things are crazy. Can you think of anything? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we often talk about, we did, um, we have this big thing in the UK mm -hmm. and our big main shopping street in London is called Oxford Street and switching on the lights is like a real honor and it's always a really big star that does it. And the Christmas of 96, so we'd, we'd released Wannabe, Save You There, To Become One was the Christmas single. And we were asked to switch on these lights and we were so excited. And it was the first time we'd ever been at an event and we were like the only artists there, you know, we were the, the, only, pe the only people there that people were coming to see. Mm -hmm. And we just saw the streets, you know, just people and people come like thousands and thousands of people. And I think that's the first time we were like, Oh wow, we we did it. We actually did it. You <laughs> yeah, know? right. I right. think I think sometimes you can you blame other people. If you're like we used to do these like road shows, you know, like you have the radio road shows and stuff, and there'd be lots of like pop groups at the time there. So you kind of always like blame like that boy band to have like all these girls at the front. But then you know, at the end of the day, lots of people come to see the Spice Girls. So that was uh, amazing to experience that for the first time. Yeah. And do you know what I've always wondered? So, um, of course, you were Sporty Spice, and then everyone kind of had, like, their alter egos. How did you guys come up with those? Like, did you sit in a meeting room one day, and, like, you were like, well, I'm into sports, so I want to be that? Or, like, you know, Melby was like, I kind of am out there. Like, how did you guys come up with those? Okay, so this is an interesting story. Yeah. When we first got together, we were, um, you know, we were looking at lots of girl bands that have been out there. And traditionally, lots of girl bands have either, you know, dressed the same or, you know, coordinated. And we, we so we attempted that, you know, we went through this phase of wearing like little dresses. And then we did this showcase where we wore like little Adidas t-shirts and jeans. And there was always someone who was really uncomfortable. So we were in rehearsals one day and we, we'd rock up to rehearsals, you know, every day. I'd be in my trackie and Jerry would have some, have some like thrift store outfit on and look a bit crazy and uh -huh. maybe it was super cool. And we were just looking in the mirror because like doing our choreography and we're like, why don't we just wear what we wear? Why are we all trying to fit into this meld? So that, it just kind of happened organically. And then when we came out, it was actually a magazine in the UK called Top of the Pops magazine. And they nicknamed us. And it was just oh. a little piece in the front of the mag. And they stuck. And we, you know, and we loved them. And we became caricatures of our nicknames. That is so funny. I've always wondered. I'm like, I wonder, was that like a thing where you guys sat in a meeting and you like decided, you know what, that's going to be me. I was wondering always how that was. Yeah. And what a gift, right? Because it's just yeah. like, it was perfect. It oh was yeah thing for us yeah and i think probably like you said since it was organic that's why it stuck and why it yeah. resonated with so many people because it was just yeah. so natural for you guys i love that and, you know, people ask me all the time they're like oh do you know do you ever feel pressure being sporty do you ever wish you mm -hmm. were being spice or and i'm like no i love being sporty spice i am sporty spice. <laughs> yeah, i'll be sporty now than ever yeah um, a few more aches and pains but um sure. yeah no i i love being sporty it, it totally is who i am did you see a few years ago, I think it was the Backstreet Boys that dressed up as you guys. They were like on a cruise or something. Did you see that? Oh, you know, we love those guys. Because, you know, if you think about it, we were out at exactly the same time. Yes. 
So they were probably the, the bands that we bumped into the most, you know, whether it was doing TV shows and festivals and different things. And I was lucky enough to perform with them. I, I opened for the guys actually um, in Dubai a few years ago. Oh, cool. And I hadn't seen them for such a long time. So that was brilliant. It was so good to see them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I was wondering that I would think that you guys would all kind of still be friends or at least like when you see each other, it's like, oh my gosh, remember when this? Yeah, <laughs> it's just nuts. And like every now and again on Instagram, like a photograph will pop up of like us guys and those guys and we look so young and baby faced. <laughs> yeah, of course. And so I assume you still stay in touch with all the girls and like, do you have like a group chat going? We do. We do. And, yeah. You know, like, we've been staying in touch through this. And mm -hmm. uh, everyone's good. It's Mel's birthday on Friday. Ah! So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to check in with her and see how she is. But everyone's good, you know. Everyone, I think, is enjoying some time at home with the children because everyone's so busy, you know. We're, we're usually flying all over the place. Yeah. And do you think, because, of course, now social media is so huge and massive, do you think you would have liked social media around when you were in the Spice Girls? Or would that have just been, like, too much, you think? I'm so grateful we didn't have it. Really? I'm so grateful that people didn't have cameras on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because, you know, we were young and, and we were going out and we were having fun and we were making mistakes and it wasn't all documented. You know, mm. of course, we have paparazzi to deal with, but I just feel like, you know, I feel for young artists because, they're, you know, they are so exposed. You know, there's, there's kind of, there's no, there's nowhere to hide anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, you can't because everybody has a phone everywhere, right? And that would, it would be terrifying, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, because when you're young, you know, sometimes you, you do silly things, right? You know, yeah. and you don't want the world to know about it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And so, you know, and speaking of younger artists, um, I came across, I don't and I'm sure you probably remember this, but Billie Eilish said that you gave her the most valuable piece of advice she's ever received. Do you remember what you said to her? Yeah, well, I met her here. She played a show in London, and I'm a huge fan. I have been for, you know, for a long time, and it was great to finally see her live. And I, and I went backstage, and I met her and her brother and her parents, and it was so lovely. And, uh, yeah, I was just talking about how, how quickly it, it goes, you know? You're kind of, you're in this, in the chaos, you know, that we spoke about, and before you know it, it's, it's over. And you're like, what, what, what just happened, you know? And I, I just think, you know, I've been so fortunate. I've been working in music for, gosh, nearly 25 years. And I just, I, maybe it's like an age thing. I always want to say to younger artists, I kind of want to, I want to give them advice, you know. I want them to, to not make the mistakes that I made. And I think sometimes they, they must be thinking, oh, shut up, grandma. So <laughs> when, <Right now. laughs> when Billy, you know, really took it on board and, and she spoke about it, I was, I was really touched and I thought, wow, you know, that, that, that means a lot that my, my words aren't, you know, falling on deaf ears. So that was Yeah, because cool. I know, I think, because I think what she said is that you reminded her just to sort of live in the moment and to just make sure that you don't really take any of the big sort of stuff for granted. And so is that sort of the advice that you would offer to these to yeah. younger artists, I mean, there's so yeah. many of them, even who I play on my radio show. Yeah. I mean, is that what you would say? Yeah. You know, the thing is, I think it's it's really hard at the time to do it because it's, you work so, so hard. I think that that's what so many people don't realize. You know, so much work goes into, you know, making your music, promoting your music, all of the campaigns. And you can often, you know, I found with the girls, we were living on adrenaline. You know, we were in survival mode. Mm -hmm. We were away from home so much and, you know, we were exhausted. So you don't really have time to process what's been happening. Sometimes we were like, you know, what what country are we in? What, you know, what continent are we on? You know, you're so yeah. like, you know. Um, so yeah, I think, I think people are much more mindful these days. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're more aware, aren't we, of kind of being present um so that would always be my advice and because you just as a young person I didn't ever think about the future I just I mean I was in the present but before I knew it it was I was in the future you know of course that, right that they happen so fast, fast. Yeah. yeah um so I know you know we talked a little bit earlier about your music so can we expect do you know a new album can be expected or any yeah yeah we are putting the f finishing touches to it right now Mm -hmm. um, luckily, I got like everything where I had to be in a room with people. That's all done. Um, we're doing all the other bits and pieces we can do remotely. 
Um, and yeah, I think we deliver this week, actually, the end of this week. So the album will be, will be later this year. And it's been lovely to release these two songs quite quickly um, after each other, Who I Am and Blame It On Me Today. And I want to release some more songs. I want to kind of just keep the music coming. I want people to get really excited about the record. Yeah. Um, so sometimes I like to ask people, is there an item in your house right now that like we would just be surprised that you have? Is there something like in the room where you happen to be sitting that like <laughs> is like maybe like, I don't know. Yeah. But quite possibly, maybe not. If, I know there'll be some fans watching this, but my living room is like at the moment is my studio, my, my nightclub. It's like, my yeah, yeah, yeah. it's everything. It's my gym. I've got my Peloton bike over there. But <laughs> I, I built a little set for my Q and A's. So I have something. Let uh, me see. Let, I would let's love see to... if you Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me see. I love this. So she's getting um, something. Okay. So this is quite fun and was photographed quite a lot last year. Have you seen this in a picture anywhere? Oh, that's familiar, I think. So this was my my top from my outfit from the opening of the Spice Girls stadium tour last wow, year. Wow, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, how cool. Yeah, so I have a few costumes because we just wanted to make the backdrop interesting, you know, for, yeah. for find all these things so I just thought that's quite weird to have your costume in your lounge <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh my god I love it what a cool piece that's awesome so yeah well good is there anything else I mean I know you have so many fans tuning in right now is there anything else that we missed or that you want to let them know about it's something that they may not have seen let me have a look let yeah is there anything else moving the frame, I feel so nervous. funny she wants to make sure <laughs> so last year Oh, actually, you know what I want to show you? Okay. Oh, I'm kind of breaking the place right now. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay. I can't wait. So, okay. So this is another, it's a costume piece. Now this is, I think you're going to like this. Yeah. So when I finished my tour with the Spice Girls last year, I went on tour with Sink the Pink, who is an East London creative collective. Mm -hmm. And I had five gorgeous drag queens traveling with me. Uh -huh. And we performed at Prides all over the world. And, um... I think I was like literally on a float in Sao Paulo about three days after the last Spice show. I was uh -huh. like, talk about not knowing where you are in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I have this incredible stylist and he made me this one-off piece. And this is a top. Oh, cool. But it's made from sneakers. <gasps> so you can see there's like Adidas here and then there's Nike here. Sure, yeah. Up here, somewhere along here, there's a little feel of it as well. Here's some feeler. So how talented is he? That oh, is so that. cool. Yeah? So it's completely that is so cool. unique, yeah. And then I just thought, because uh, wow. I haven't seen those bits and bobs. So this is something people may not have seen. So we had a wonderful choreographer on the tour. His name is uh -huh. Paul Roberts. Uh -huh. He had these, hopefully it doesn't reflect too much from the light. He had these amazing pictures done of us. So oh, this was cool. like, so this was Sporty House. So this was like me in the center here. This was the opening to the show. We each had our houses and all my dancers were like super sporty and oh had my like God. costumes. How cool, right? That is so cool. So that's kind of like a little like mock sketch of like what you guys yeah. wanted to do. Oh, that's so cool. So cool, yeah. I oh, that. I love that. Yeah. So yeah, oh my God. thanks for things. sharing. I love that. those things. That's okay. awesome. Well, Melanie, it's been so great to talk to you. And I hope that like the rest of your quarantine goes well. Have you been doing like the homeschooling thing or not so much? I've yeah, been I've been trying. Yeah. Well, here in the UK, our year sixes go back um, on Monday, 1st of June. And my, my daughter's in year six. <laughs> <laughs> She's 11. So, you know, it, I mean, it's kind of, it, it's bittersweet because obviously you're nervous for them, of course. Uh, but also excited for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. Okay, so you don't really have to, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a little bit more normality. We'll be getting up, we'll be getting out, getting to school, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of feeling like we're getting back to some kind of rhythm and routine. Yeah, absolutely. So blame it on me out today. An album we can expect by the end of the year. Yes. Awesome. Melanie, thank you so much. It was so good to talk Absolutely. to you. Well, All next right. time we speak, I hope we're in the same room. Me too. I do too. <laughs> when you come to Chicago, you will have to stop by oh. Kiss FM.
I've not been to Chicago for ages, so I really hope I get there as soon as we're allowed to move around. Oh, we would love that. Yeah. Awesome. Ellie, good to see you. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. See you ya. too. Bye-bye.